it's electric in Husky Stadium, especially when it's Pac-12 after dark. And that is what we have tonight. Our old colleague, Herm Edwards, on the sidelines for Arizona State. He brings the Sun Devils to Seattle to take on the Huskies. Miles Gaskin. He can light it up on special teams, and he continues to light it up as the primary running back for Washington. And we are underway. Pac-12 after dark. Glad you can be with us. And it'll come out to the 25-yard line. That's a backwards pass and a trick play on first down. And an interception is thrown by Bocelli. Arizona State's got the football. Chase Lucas on the pick. Chris Peterson dials up a trick play that backfires as Andre Bocelli throws the interception. And Arizona State is business to start it off. Yeah, you felt it right away, and so did Chase Lucas in that secondary. That wide receiver in the slot retreats. Those secondary, those guys know it. They know it's coming. The double pass has come, and Chase Lucas was a freshman All-American. You see it instantly. He reads those eyes of Bocelli, and what an enormous, game-changing play here early on. A pretty good corner that read that from the very beginning. And the crowd that was silent a moment ago, and the Huskies had the football, not silent anymore. You know, Benjamin fighting his way down inside the 15 yard line. Benjamin again has room again. First and goal for the Sun Devils. You know, Benjamin again. This time he's shut down. And FBS and red zone targets. He's to the top of the screen. Instead, they'll keep it on the ground with Benjamin. He gets walloped at about the three and gets just inside the three to about the two and a half. Third down and goal. Benjamin bouncing it to the outside. He's just shy of the goal line. Did he lose the football? It looks like one of the officials dropped the beanbag. And Washington thinks they have a goal line takeaway. They do, and it's a touchback. Benjamin isn't sure he fumbled it. Let's see. It looked like his left elbow was down just about as the ball was coming out. After review. The runner was down on the half yard line prior to the ball coming out. It will be fourth down. Game clock operator, please reset the game clock to 12 17. Eno Benjamin again. This time powers his way into the end zone. Arizona State strikes first. And they turn the takeaway into a touchdown. That's a converted linebacker playing fullback. Some new wrinkles here that Arizona State has not shown. A little power, a little isolation. A chance for a return now for Gaskin. Struggles to get to the 20-yard line. Here's Gaskin on first down. A little more conservative to begin this drive for Washington as Gaskin grinds out three yards. Low snap. Browning scoops it up to the sideline. Looking for Fuller. He comes back to make the catch. Where does forward progress spot the football? Just good enough for a first down. Gaskin on the toss sweep. Turns the corner. Did he stay in balance? They say he did all the way out to the 46 yard line for 14 yards. Again, it's Gaskin. This time brought down after a gain of three by the true freshman inside linebacker Darian Butler. Play action for Brown. Long throw to a wide open footer. Fuller out of bounds just shy of the red zone first and 10 at the 21 that's a gain of 30 a chance here for Savan Ahmed he's into the secondary out of the 14 yard line a gain of seven 
Rock met again. Moves the pile, and it looks to be good enough for a first down. Browning over the middle to Fuller. Easy pitch and catch touchdown for the Huskies. on the kickoff return for the Sun Devils. Gets outside. And gets to about the 23-yard line. It's been all Eno Benjamin so far for Arizona State. Slow through, and then the explosion. Eno Benjamin to the 41-yard line. A flip in the flat to Nick Ralston and the linebacker turned back to a fullback with the first touch from any skill position player not named Eno Benjamin picks up six. That's Trelon Smith. Well, he almost found a cutback lane. Lost his footing and comes up a yard and a half shy. First down run for Smith. Elon Smith, another three and a half yards. Manny Wilkins on a rollout. They chase to the sideline and throws it away. Wilkins looking that way. Dodges a sack, checks it down underneath. And Eno Benjamin right at the first down marker. It looks like he's got the first down. Just feels like an NFL drive, doesn't it? Get your back. You know, Benjamin's the second leading receiver on this team because Manny Wilkins has started 26 games. He's looking, he's looking to his number one, both by number and where he goes with the ball, but it's not there. And he gets to his check down, so very valuable. You know, Benjamin spins to the 30 yard line. Miles Bryant shows blitz off the edge for Washington. There he comes. They'll throw behind it, and it's broken up. Goes Harry in motion. Murphy with him. Wilkins looking for the home run ball down the sideline. Incomplete again, Kyle Williams, the intended receiver. So this will be a long field goal attempt for Arizona State. This from 48 to give Arizona's, Arizona State the lead back. And Reese, it's a touchback as it goes over the head of Gaskin. Kamari Pleasant, third running back, already used by Washington, and he picks up five. Browning well protected, fires a strike to Drew Sample. The tight end's got a first down near midfield. Reaction for Browning. The protection holds up. Long throw to the sideline. Jump ball is won by Ty Jones. And you can add that to the play action reel. That's yet another deep play action pass. And you see the post corner and that post cut. That's what turns the hips of the corner there. Kobe Williams, junior college transfer. Inside the 25, down to the 24 yard line for five. Flags down at the snap. Here's Gaskin. Driven back, two yard shot of a first down. Offside, number 90 defense. That five yard penalty results in a first down. Let's get another true freshman there. That's Jermaine Lole, and it's just by snap there. Here comes an all out blitz. Browning looking to beat it to the end zone. Trying to adjust his tie.
That is the same exact route that Kyle Williams tried to run on third down for ASU. This inside seam that's become so popular, and look at the body control of the 6'3", Ty Jones. He made some big plays. He's been their big play receiver. Fuller, their most consistent. The Ty, he's the guy they love to utilize in those one-on-ones. Here's Paul Lucas trying to cha-cha outside. Just about lost his footing. I think he blew a tire, lost a shoe. But a tunnel screen, the first touch for Nikhil Harry. And he's bottled up. You know, Benjamin. Shy of the 35 yard line, so it will be third down and a long three close to four. Rushes four. Wilkins steps up, finds a crosser. Kyle Williams, first down. Benjamin on a two yard dive. Wilkins to throw on third down. Another strike, this time to Harry, right at the first down marker. Did he get a good spot? It doesn't look like he got the best spot, but it looks like it may just be good enough. No signal yet that it's an Arizona State first down. And they may bring the chains out. This advantage of a big 6'3 wide receiver that's physical. McKeel is not just a guy. I think he clearly catches that. His momentum stopped. He's going sideways. That's across the line. It's going to be a first down. Well, but if it's not, I would think you'd want to go to replay and take another look because I'm not sure they got a real friendly spot. But by the nose of the football, it's good enough. Benjamin and the pile moves for four pump fake and a little too much heat from Wilkins on that pass only a three-man rush Wilkins has all day over the middle it's tipped and incomplete this is a little two-man coverage meaning two deep safeties and man coverage underneath it so those guys underneath can be right in the hip Steve Dalton, not the best kick, only to the 17-yard line. Great pass protection for Browning. Finds the check down in Gaskin, and he's got a first down. Savan Ahmed, after coming up short, check that Kamari Pleasant after Gaskin came up short, picks up the first down. It's Ahmed bouncing it outside. And it's Ahmed. Speed to the second level. Great blocking out on the edge by his tight ends and wide receivers. Led by Aaron Fuller. Jalen Harvey eventually bumped him out, but that's 14 more yards. He ran 10 yards before he was touched. Yeah, look at the two tight ends at the bottom there. You just can't do it any better than that. Will Disley did it as good as any tight end in college football last year. He's doing it for the Seahawks right now, but that's Otten. And around. It's Ahmed. Plenty more. Another 11. And another Washington first down. Miles Gaskin. Inside the 35. Browning off play action. Taking a shot for the end zone. Incomplete. Fuller couldn't hold on or check that. Quinton Pounds had a chance and he couldn't haul it in. You remember Quinton had the one handed grab against Auburn. Split center top 10. They show blitz. They're going to run it with Gaskin. He makes a man miss in the open field and picks up the first down. Gaskin again. Stood up at the 22. Another carry for Gaskin. Ten plays on this drive. Eight of them on the ground. And that's been good enough to grind out first downs. And he is very close to grinding out another. Here's Ahmed. 
Jump cut through the hole. Inside the five. Actually brought down just shy of the five. Ahmed looking for room outside now. Close to a first down. That run was good enough for a first down, so it's first and goal. Gaskin leaps and pays the price. 14th play of the drive. Gaskin bounces off a tackler and heads south instead of north and goes down all the way back near the 10 yard line. Taryn Adams eventually made the tackle. Blitz. Back shoulder throw intended for Ty Jones, and it's incomplete. Peyton Henry from 26. And it's a touchdown lead for Washington, but it could have been a two score lead. 5 05 to go before halftime. will let this one go through the back of the end zone. Danny Wilkins hands one to Benjamin. He is turned back by Benning Potoai. Wilkins hands to Benjamin. He's got the first down and more. Benjamin picks up two. Wilkins off play action on the slant, looking for Harry, and it's incomplete with the flag again. Prior to the pass, holding number 14 defense, 10 yard penalty. That's an automatic first down. That can be a scary proposition with a player as talented as Harry and all that space. Corner blitz. We've seen this a couple different times. Three defense. And you wrap your arm around. That is as obvious as it gets. You impede the movement there of Harry. And you've seen Jimmy Lake defensively here do a bunch of different things on Nikhil Harry. You've seen corner blitzes. You've seen some tandem coverage. You've seen an awful lot of commitment to make sure number one doesn't get it. That means even putting less numbers in the box. So you go to the run game and force that hand of ASU. See what Manny Wilkins does here. He looks up, sees five on five in the tackle box, so they'll run at it. And it is quarterback run for Manny Wilkins. Calls his own number and picks up five. Benjamin with a flag down, three yards shy of the first down. Personal foul, shot block, number 73, and number 56, offense. 15 yard penalty, still second down. Right near the top of the screen. It's your center and left guard right here that are engaged right there. And with that content, you just can't touch them. So now it's second and 20. Tunnel screen caught by Kyle Williams. Nothing there. But if you're Washington, you may consider a timeout. I think they do. Third and 17. to Benjamin. Another timeout called by Chris Peterson. Michael Sleep Dalton gets one off on the dead run. It's Fuller. That is a great catch by Fuller. Right now he's not. A rush four, a line stunt that Washington picks up and rounding a dangerous throw intended for Gaskin. Again, it's a four man rush. Browning, long throw to the sideline, red again. And broken up. Fuller, the intended receiver. That time it was Kobe Williams. Now it's third down and ten. I think in three games, I can't find you two snaps of defense that ASU just played. That is a long, long out route all the way across the field. Again, dangerous. But that's a four-man rush in playing the coverage they played last year against Jake Browning. And just saying, yeah, you can keep everything in front of you. No aggressiveness, no blitzing. Very content on those first two snaps. With the decision making in Jake's hands. Herm Edwards right next to one of the officials. He's ready to use a timeout if it comes on this play. As Browning steps up under pressure, he is going to go down, and Herm Edwards calls timeout. He walked right over to one of the officials before that snap and said, if we get a stop in the field of play,
play. Be ready and look at me. I'm calling timeout because he had three left. Now Arizona State is going to get the ball back. Ayuk driven back to his own 21-yard line. And barely gets out to the 21. It's a great stop on special teams by Miles Bryant. They start on the ground with Trelon Smith. And they better hurry unless they're just trying to run out the clock and head to the locker room down by seven. So a 54-yard punt by Washington may have completely changed the strategy for Arizona State. And now Chris Peterson is going to call a timeout. Well, now Wilkins will just take a knee as Washington called a timeout, I guess, so that this formality could take place. And Arizona State will have the ball to start the third quarter down by seven. Paul Lucas back deep to receive the kick to start the second half. Muffs it, picks it back up, gets a block. And pretty good field position for the Sun Devils. So far tonight, back shoulder intended for Kyle Williams here. Flag thrown in the secondary and in the tackle box. There are fouls on both teams. Pass interference, number three, defense. 15-yard penalty, that's an automatic first down. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 55, offense. That 15-yard penalty will also be enforced, still first down. Wow. Yeah, and here's gonna come the penalty with the unnecessary roughness slamming to the ground and it's that little shot right there and I think an additional kiss at the very end of it in the P.I. and to be to be honest with you I think ASU takes this one and says great it's a first down on third and ten that's we'll a huge for. win for Arizona State Wilkins rifles one wide open was Nikhil Harry and he missed him they're running on second down with Trelon Smith makes a man miss Spins for a first down. Annie Wilkins to Smith. Picks up close to seven. They'll run it with Smith. He gets into the secondary. Inside the 30-yard line before he's brought down by Taylor Rapp. Here he is again. And this time he's dragged down for no gain on first down. Matty Wilkins with a swing pass to Smith. Lost the football. The officials are moving in for what really is a 50-50 ball, and it is going to be third down as Kyle Williams saves the day for Arizona State with a fumble recovery. Keeps his eyes downfield, scrambles, rifles one, incomplete. And he is 2-4-2. Two two. Miles Gaskin will let this one go. And it will come out to the 25. Jet sweep action and a handoff to Kamari Pleasant. He knifes for nine yards. Snap scooped up by Browning. Well protected. Now the pocket starts to break down. Floats one across his body. And his tight end, Kate Otten, comes back to help him out to pick up the first down and more on a gain of 11. You notice Browning right there. He does not retreat. We talked about this in the open of the show. Excellent protection. There's actually a little bit of a five-man rush. But instead of retreating right there, right, the negative plays have come from retreating. And he steps up into the pocket, slides, keeps his eyes down the field. Here's Gaskin. Another first down. 11 more. 
And there is play action. Gaskin helps in pass protection. Browning wide open. He's got Otten again. The tight end to the red zone. And that puts Browning over 10,000 yards passing for his career. As Ahmed gets to about the 19-yard line for a gain of one. Wide receiver screen. Chico McClatcher dropped the football. Arizona State brings a blitz. Gaskin picks it up. Short of the first down, though, is Drew Sample. Puts them up seven midway through the third. Paul Lucas. Pretty good return across the 30 yard line. At the bottom of the screen. Instead, they'll check it down to Tommy Hudson, the tight end, with a flag thrown on the near sideline. Ineligible receiver downfield. Number 73, offense. Five yard penalty. Still first down. Akil Harry, wide open in the flat. Instead, coming back to help out the quarterback is Brandon Ayuk. About three yards shy of the first down. It'll be third down and three. Harry looking for first down yardage. Second effort powers his way after originally being spun back. Over the middle, it's Smith. Did he lose the football again? It looks like he did. Washington initially thought they recovered. Trelon Smith coughs it up. And Ben Burkirvin has it. Rounding off play action. Long throw. Short hops it to Ty Jones. They're going to take a look and see if Jones did indeed make that catch. Ruled a catch on the field. I thought I saw the ball bounce. Looks like he traps it right on top of the grass. The review was not for a targeting foul. It was for whether the pass was completed or not. After review, the pass is incomplete. It will be second down. Game clock operator, please reset the clock to 423. Browning under pressure. Can't avoid the sack. Gets spun down. Third down and 12. Four-man rush. Browning steps up in the pocket. Extending the play to the sideline. Right at the first down marker. Spinning and trying to pick it up with Pacelli. Rugby-style kick from Whitford to the sideline. And now it takes a hop inside the 15 and rolls all the way down close to the 10-yard line. Well done. Play action for Wilkins. Checks it down to Benjamin. Spins out of a tackle. So the worst starting field position of the night for the Sun Devils starts with a seven yard gain on first down. Only one deep safety for Washington. They'll run it with Benjamin. And this time he's got nowhere to go. Drag back a loss of one. Four-man rush, Annie Wilkins, broken up, Miles 
Miles Bryant with perfect coverage, sagging back in the passing lane, intended for Frank Darby, and it's a three and out for Arizona State. And that is so good on so many levels there for Miles. He's got an inside route that he's got to play first, and he does. He plays through that coverage, and then he has the awareness. So if a route breaks off inside of me, what's more than likely coming behind? He's trying to clear me out, and what's more than likely coming behind is Frank Darby on an in-cut. That is so well done by the former walk-on. Michael Sleeve Dalton gets away a good punt. Fuller inside his own 30. Bottled up. Excellent punt coverage by Arizona State. Miles Gaskin. Five yards. And we head to the fourth quarter. A low scoring one possession game. Second down to start off the set in the fourth quarter, and Gaskin heading in the wrong direction. And it does well to run a long way and maybe pick up a yard or two as he gets close to the 40-yard line, brings up a big third down to start off the fourth quarter. Yeah, that was a big-time play there by Kers Thomas, linebacker getting right in the backfield and creating some of these negative plays. Browning steps up. He's going to try and run for it. Weaves his way right to the first down marker. And boy, did he get walloped right at our yellow line to gain. Chris Peterson says, who's the toughest Husky that we got? It's number three because this guy has taken looks like this. And then we take another look at that one upstairs. He has taken shots like that game after game, season after season, and you just will not find a tougher Husky quarterback. Offside with contact, number 45 defense. Five yard penalty, still first down. There is the play action. Browning looking downfield. He wanted to take a shot. Instead, he finds a wide open Miles Gaskin. So the check down works. That's a good business decision by Jake Browning, the quarterback. The shot downfield was covered up to give me 14 yards to Gaskin. Gaskin bounces it outside. Inside the 30. Inside the 25 of the first down before he's taken out of bounds. And a flag out. Was he hit late out of bounds? After the play, personal foul, late hit out of bounds. Number 43, defense. Half the distance to the goal line. That's an automatic first down. Pretty quick beat here, here in Miles Gaskin, that jump cup getting outside. Look at Jalen Harvey here. Wow. That's a tough call. But he gets hit, his foot is barely out of bounds. Is, is it fair to ask a player to stop playing when yeah. a, a, a running back is right on the boundary? And of that nature, that's tough. That is a really tough call. Gaskin. Inside the 10-yard line. Wide receiver screen. Savan Ahmed. Shy of the five-yard line. They can pick up a first down just inside the two. Arizona State jumped but got back. Browning to throw. As all day. Extending the play. Back in the end zone. Chris Peterson is not the conniving type. But there have been a lot of conversation about Jake outside the pocket, some of the negative plays that have occurred. And Chris Peterson saying, yeah, but you know what else he has done? He made a tremendous amount of plays when he has bought time just like that. And what a beautiful job of footwork by the redshirt freshman, not running out of bounds, going where he was.
it's a two score lead for Washington. Big possession coming here for Arizona State. Quarterback keeper for Manny Wilkins. Only about a yard. Now the game plan all night for Arizona State has been do a box count, take the run if it's there, and play low scoring NFL style football. Down by two scores now. Do they have to come out of that philosophy? Play clock down to three. Wilkins, well protected. Tipped ball. On the carom, it's intercepted. JoJo McIntosh picks it off. And right after Washington opens up a two score lead, now they'll say that was incomplete. So it is fourth down. It is not a McIntosh interception. So Arizona State has a chance to change field position with a punt. Yep. But Washington thought they had a takeaway. And I did too. And this is a little why Herm played the game the way he did. He does not want to play to the strength. The strength of this Washington crew is right back here. A senior like McIntosh. Boy, that look right there. I don't know how much. He certainly has time to get underneath it. Went right through his arms. It sure did. And, and then he tried right through it. But this is why Herm played the game this way. Because the strength of this group for Washington is the back end of that defense that just flies around and is right in the lap of these wide receivers. Fair catch. Inside the 35-yard line by Fuller. Ahmed spins through a tackler's arms and picks up a first down. So much for the three and out. One play, 12 yards, and a first down for Savan Ahmed. And he runs through the arms here of the true freshman Butler. These guys at ASU are going to be so fun over the years to watch. Here's Sean McGrew to midfield. You know what you see? What really jumps out to me, and the ball come out, ASU is saying the ball came out. Looks like the official on the far side marked him forward progress stopped at the 50 yard line. Miles Gaskin back in immediately net behind the line. Malin Curse Thomas knifes through to make the tackle for a four yard loss. And it's third down and long. And they'll stay conservative with Gaskin. They'll get to midfield and they'll play the punt. Nikhil Harry back to return the punt. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Breaking tackles. You're not supposed to field a punt inside your own five-yard line. So what, says Nikhil Harry. He runs it all the way out to the 44-yard line. Punt return by Nikhil Harry of 42 yards. Will that spark Arizona State? Great field position, but they have to have a score, you would think, on this drive. And then Ayuk for three yards. Second down and six. Tunnel screen. Ayuk blockers out in front. Speed inside the 45, or rather the 35, down to about the 31 yard line. Burke Kerbin brought him down from behind, but it's a gain of 20. Benjamin. Driven out at the 31. No gain. Four man rush. Long throw. Harry makes the catch. You know, Benjamin has a first down and more. Down to the 16 yard line. That'll stop the clock just for the moment. Gain of 10. This is Isaiah Floyd. Wilkins dodges a sack, dodges a tackler, dodges his way down inside the 10, close to the seven yard line. He picked up five. Still about a yard and a half or so, shy of a first down, so it will be third down again. And the clock continues to wind down under four minutes to go. You know, Benjamin inside the five, close to the goal line. 
first and goal at the one. Benjamin leaps, shut down shy of the goal line. It'll be second down and goal, and that costs them time. Van Verkurven made the stop. And it was the big fella underneath all of the great gains. But not called his name much. He has to do so much of the dirty work for Ben Verkurven to fly around the way he does. Three minutes to go. He'll try it again with Wilkins. He reaches the ball out. He's in for the touchdown. Terrific drive by Arizona State, and they make this a one-possession game. That was all set up by the punt return. You can see the big fellas do just enough. You knew at some point Manny was going to pull the ball. Heads up play. He knows right where the threshold of that goal line is. But that drive has set up a shorter field all because of one guy. And it looks like Herm Edwards is going to put his faith in his defense. As Gaskin will let this one hop into the end zone, wisely so. Gaskin on first down. And there is timeout number one called by Herm Edwards. They've used a timeout, second down and eight. Gaskin pushes the pile for a gain of a couple of more, and Herm Edwards calls timeout number two. Brings up third down and six. Arizona State looks like they're selling out to stop the run. There's Browning on a bootleg. Under pressure to the sideline is the catch made. Incomplete. The officials say Bocelli didn't control the ball and get a foot down. And that saves a timeout for Arizona State. Oof. I don't know. He controls the football. Is that toe come down inbounds? Oh, it sure looks like it does. Yep. Clearly a catch. But they ruled him out of bounds. The ruling on the field is an inc incomplete pass. The previous play is under further review. After review, the pass was completed. For a first down, the ball will be placed on the 38-yard line. And that certainly seems like the right call. It did look like he got a toe down. Obviously, Herm Edwards. That's a frustrated smile on uh, the head coach's face on the Arizona State sideline. Well, this is now back-to-back -back weeks in the final minutes of games where plays have gone the other way, and it sure looks like that foot gets in. Gaskin bounces it outside and gets brought down after a gain of a yard. For some reason, the clock was running, and a flag was thrown late. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, targeting number 24 defense. 15 yard penalty. That's an automatic first down. The previous play is under further review. Well, there's a late hit. That's targeting? That's not targeting. That's, That's a late hit. Obviously not targeting, but. And Chase is trying to do what he can to keep the defender in, right? Well, I guess not even trying to keep him in bounds. That's just a foolish mistake. That's not that's not forcible contact. I mean, that's not the crown of the helmet. That's not a defenseless player. That is not targeting. That doesn't check any of the boxes here. After review, there's no foul for targeting. The penalty for a personal foul, unnecessary roughness, will still be enforced. 15 yards. It's an automatic first down. into the 44 and now Arizona State powerless to stop the clock they'll snap it with about 45 on the clock and if this play takes six more seconds to run and it looks like Browning is going to kill some time doing exactly that what a smart play not the senior quarterback he knew all he had to do was hit the game clock under 40 seconds, and it was over. Run around, kill a little time, and 27-20 will be your final. And Brock, this is just one of the landmines out there 
for the Huskies, but look what still remains. Yeah, buckle up, Pac-12 after dark, buckle up all season long. They're going to look a lot like this, just like they did with Stanford and Oregon tonight, just like they did here in a one-possession game. Nobody in this conference is going to run away from anybody. There are going to be so many of nights just like this over the course of the year. 27-20, Washington wins it.